Uh, this is exciting. Hello, beautiful human. I'm Zach. That is Dan. Yep. And we welcome to the studio for the first time ever, Les Serafim. <laughs> Hi. Hi. We're so excited to be here. Hi. Hi. Hello. Do you, do you, I mean, I, do you want to do your intro? Oh, yeah. Uh, an, uh, I don't want to mess it up. Oh, we don't really have an intro, but we'll Wait, just that's say. so cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that alone is really rare, right? That, yeah, I mean, we don't have like any like signature hand symbol or anything. We just say hi, we're Le Seraphim. Which, by the way, in traditional, you know, K-pop ways, yeah. almost yeah. all the groups right. have this synchronized intro yeah. that they work together <laughs> and they figure it out. <laughs> is that where... It kind of begins for you all being mm. anti-K-pop, but not anti-K-pop, if that makes oh, any sense. Or um, just breaking the rules, essentially. I think it's uh, rather than like breaking like K-pop rules, I think it's just like in the beginning when we first formed our company. I think it's just like us uh, being very... Uh, like expressive and being able to communicate with our company. Our company asked us, do you guys want a hand symbol? Like, what would you guys like to do? And we were like... No, I think we'll go without one. Like it's like night, like sim more simple and like neater that way. So and but, they we just ro ro rolled with it. But what was the driving factor or the driving motivation as to why you didn't want that? So when you all started training, right? Because yeah. you all have a dream at one point in your life where you want to be a k-pop superstar do you have this this version of an idol that you aspire to be what kind of artist or role model you're not using the term idol though which most groups do oh i didn't realize i didn't realize that that was not like intentional <laughs> <laughs> it's a big question it's a big That's question huge. it could be a big question <laughs> Uh, 한게 아니라서 그래서 뭔가 퍼포먼스를 하거나 무대를 무대 많이 쓰는 그런 아티스트가 되고, 싶, 되고 싶다고 생각했었어요. Why can you explain the lack of trainee period and what it was like to just be thrown into something like that? 저는 발레를 계속 했었는데 그래서 갑자기 합류하게 돼서 그래서 그냥 연습생을 할수 있는 시간이 많이 없었는데 어 그래서 그 합류해서 그 적응하는 과정은 그렇게 쉽지는 않았지만 그래도 퍼포먼스를 많이 하고 뭔가 연말 무대나 그런 시상식에서도 되게 멋있는 퍼포먼스를 하는 그런 팀에 대해서 너무너무 자랑스럽고 되게 이 팀이 합류하게 잘한 것 같아요. <웃음> Thank you. So creatively, do you guys work together as one in the studio or do we kind of a, like figure out whose strengths are where. I'm assuming it's the latter, right? Well, the for like the overarching theme of our music or the message that we want to talk about in our music is something that we all very openly communicate with our like producers and our company. So, um yeah, and then for performance like musical wise, that's what that's kind of how our process works. Like we have interviews with our producers and just like the people at our company to talk about um, what we're thinking about or like what emotions we're going through and what thought processes we have. And so that kind of just like melts itself into the music. And um, performance wise, we all have like a different vibe, I guess. So we, um, so depending on who like stands in the center, I think the, the mood of the performance changes. So I think we, Interesting. yeah. So um, definitely we move around based on that to give the most like dynamic performance so i guess in a way both can we talk about the album and by the way you guys debuted on my birthday oh really it's hanging to debut wow may 2nd <laughs> happy <laughs> late birthday yeah very late thank you very much <laughs> happy very late debut <laughs> very late birthday <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> can you explain to me what anti-fragile means 일단 절대 부서지지 않는다 라는 의미가 있고 그리고 충격을 가할수록 더 강해진다라는 의미잖아요. 그래서 저희는 뭔가 어 저희한테 무슨 일이 와도 약간 안 좋은 일이 와도 우리는 더 강해질 거다라는 의미를 전달해 주고 싶었던 것 같아요. So is that mini album connected with the debut album which is Fearless? Yeah. So it's uh our first three albums were like a trilogy yeah. that kind of has like the fearless, anti-fragile, and then unforgiven. And so it's kind of, yeah, they're all kind of connected. 
story wise. Yeah, because being fearless leads to being, being anti fragile. Right. And but, then being anti fragile is also, you know, connected to being unforgiven. It's like, I think, we, we, yeah, we were talking about like the hero's journey. Uh, so um, fearless is like the start of our journey being um, like, we're going to be fearless. We're not going to be afraid of chasing and dreaming, um, what dreaming of what we want. And then uh, anti-fragile is talking about how, you know, we're going to go our own way. We're starting our journey now. And no matter like what challenges we face, we're going to overcome them. And then Unforgiven talks about how um, I can be the villain in your eyes as long as I get what's mine. Kind of dark, yeah? Uh, well, yeah, that's yeah. kind of, yeah. <laughs> in that phrase you said, like, you're okay with doing whatever it takes as long as you get what what is yours. So, like, what is that? Mm. <laughs> 어 저희가 뭐 무대 욕심이나 이렇게 퍼포먼스나 음악적으로 사람들에게 더 많은 사랑을 받고 지금보다 더 많은 사람들에게 알려지고 싶고 약간 이런 욕심이 되게 큰것 같아요. 그리고 각자 한 명씩 되게 욕심이 많아서 그런 게 저희 팀의 장점이 아닐까 싶어요. Why did you all start this journey? Like, how did you even get here? It's, um, I think the interesting part about our group is all five of us have um, lived very different lives before coming together. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, for me, I was, um, I was, I think, 16 when I first moved to Korea. So I was a trainee for a while. Um, I was in a group, or uh, sorry, a program, a TV program for some time. And then, went back to being a trainee then I went back and forth from the states and Korea and I was actually going to go to school in Boston because <laughs> um, I was like yeah I'm done being uh, an idol I'm not going to do K-pop anymore and um, yeah I went back and I like did my SATs and stuff and then I was going to go to school but then I got like this abrupt call being like we would like you to be in La Seraphim and they were like please give us one like like one last shot give it one last shot and I was like Okay, I guess like this is my final um final try, I guess, and yeah. Are you surprised by the success so far? Yeah, for Hakura, she's been an idol for 12 years, I think. She's wow. been an idol for a long time, so this is her third group. So Wait, that's maybe, wild. Yeah. How is this group different than the others? Well, 일단 저는 인원이 많은 팀에 계속 있었어 가지고 이 다섯 명이라는 게 너무 저한테는 신선했고 그리고 저희가 저희만의 이야기를 할수 있는 팀이라서 뭔가 지금까지 살아왔던 경험이나 생각을 음악에 녹여서 전달하는 게 저희만의 매력이지 않을까 싶어요. Do you think the success of the group is connected to the fact that you control your own narrative? 음, 저도 뭔가 음악을 들을 때 신나는 노래도 좋은데 힘들 때 제, 저는 음악을 찾게 되는 것 같아요. 근데 그럴 때 저희 음악도 가끔 듣긴 하는데 뭔가 곁에 있어주는 느낌을 저희 음악에서 느껴서 그런 게 약간 사람들의 사랑을 받고 있는 이유지 않을까 싶어요. And back to my original question, is anyone here surprised by the success of the group or did you know? No, I remember all five of us. Um, our debut song was is called Fearless, but we were all very fearful. <laughs> so it felt like a lie when we were um, uh, preparing uh, the song because we were all so scared. We were like, are we like we're confident in ourselves, but like we're not sure if we're like people are gonna like us. Like, yeah, it was all very new for like three of us because these two have. Uh, like been in uh, K-pop earlier than us. So for the three of us especially, I think we were very scared. <laughs> you also are fearless in the way you choose to explore genres, mm. right? You don't really necessarily see you guys having as one sound. Like, right. You have many. Right, definitely. Who is yeah. leading that charge in terms of like exploring different genres? Mr. Bang. <laughs> 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 Chairman <laughs> Bang. <laughs> yeah, he's very... Um, you know, it's actually a very, uh, I think we're very blessed to have someone who's um, uh, very trusting. Like, he's always bringing us new music and letting us, like, challenge ourselves. Because I don't think we've, like, you know, uh, 
any of us have sung like Latin based songs before or Afrobeat songs before, but thankfully we have like such a good team and environment that lets us um, just try things out and help us um, foster more skills to take on more genres. And it's all run through your own narrative. So it yeah. feels like it's yours because yeah. it is yours. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. When you guys go into the studio to record something or craft a song or write mm -hmm. a song, mm -hmm. is there a process or do you usually just listen to something? Can you explain it to me? Mm. Oh, like when we record or Yeah, or before? even like creating a, oh, a creating... song from nothing. Oh, okay. Is there one way to do it? One process or? Oh, first of all, the process of writing is for the process of writing. 저희를 각자 한 명씩 인터뷰를 해서 뭐 요즘 느끼는 게 뭐가 있는지 요즘 이런 생각을 하고 있다라는 인터뷰를 하게 되면서 그거 위주로 뭔가 앨범의 이야기를 만들고 저희 인터뷰로 인해서 뭔가 스토리텔링이 만들어진다는 거에서 되게 흥미를 느꼈고 그리고 녹음할 때도 뭔가 어 디렉을 이렇게 이렇게 음 이렇게 해라 라는 디렉을 주는 것보다는 뭔가 같이 상의하면서 이렇게 불러보면 어떨까요? 라는 그런 회의를 많이 하는 것 같아요. How do you divvy up who sings what? Is it based on whose story it is? Do you try to get everybody's story into one song? 근데 정말 신기하게도 저희가 다 각자 삶을 살다가 팀으로 한 팀으로 뭉쳐졌잖아요. 그런데도 불구하고 뭔가 이 다섯 명의 공통적인 뭐라 해야 되지? 욕망과 약간 관심사가 되게 비슷해서 아 이래서 팀이 됐나 싶을 정도로 되게 신기하더라고요. What are those aspirations? Like what do you aspire to accomplish as an individual but also as a group? 저는 뭔가 데뷔를 준비했을 때부터 그렇고 이 아티스트라는 꿈을 가졌을 때부터 무대를 잘 하는 것도 너무 좋지만 무대를 진심으로 진짜 좋아하고 행복하게 하는 사람이 되고 싶다라는 생각을 항상 했었던 것 같아요. And you're the youngest member of the group, right? Yeah. What is that like? 저는 막내로 데뷔하는 게 꿈이었거든요. <웃음> oh, did you? 네, 그래서 지금 많은 분들이 저를 보고 직업 만족도가 최상인 것 같다고 <웃음> 말해주시는데 맞습니다. Do you feel like this is a job? I think uh, a lot of people tell us um, that like we look like just like a group of friends. Like on, it doesn't look like a job, yeah. but you know people say that I think because for us genuinely it doesn't feel like a job. We're all very close with each other, and um, like we have a lot of like um, like behind contents. Like we have our own like variety show that we film back at Hybe and. Um, yeah, I think it's just us hanging out and there just happens to be a camera. And that's genuinely how I feel. Or all five of us feel. I, I hope. I love a good Korean variety show. <laughs> Why is that like a, a an important part of getting to know or allowing your fans to get to know you and creating this connection between you and the audience? I'm <laughs> 아, 이 사람들도 아이돌이지만 저희랑 똑같은 사람이구나라고 음. 느껴지고 그리고 뭔가 같은 뭐라고 해야 되지? 같은 어, 힘듦도 음. 있고 같은 연만도 있고 뭔가 음. 같은 사람 음, 사람이라는 걸 뭔가 친근함을 느껴지는 음. 것 같아서 그래서 저희도 뭔가 꾸며지 꾸며 꾸미지 않고 뭔가 있는 그대로의 모습을 그런 콘텐츠나 그런 촬영이나 그런 데서 또 뭔가 의식하지 않고 있는 그대로의 모습으로 하려고 하고 있는 것 같아요. You can tell, by the way, like it seems really real and it's fun. And again, it gives friend group. Mm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what is it like to collaborate with a video game? We actually have a gamer <laughs> here. <laughs> 일단 제가 진짜 게임을 좋아해서 <laughs> 뭔가 그 게임이랑 콜라보 한다는 게 너무 말이 안 돼서 어, 진짜 성공을 했구나라고 <웃음> 네, 제대로 느꼈던 것 같아요. <웃음> I've made it. <웃음> well, what is that process like? Because you don't just make a song for the video game. You actually have your own mission within Overwatch, right? Mm -hmm. Where people like compete to find your tickets or something. Mm -hmm. 
So what is that process like to even write a song or craft a story for a larger story? I uh, wrote some of the lyrics for the song, but when we heard when I heard um, that we were collaborating with Overwatch for it, I used like, I don't know, I don't want to say like, it wasn't actually like game lingo, but <laughs> I was just um, imagining um, like the fact that it would be for a game. So I used like words that would kind of suit that, I guess. Yeah. And there was like an overarching theme um, for, uh, well, the title is Perfect Night, but it was just talking about how, um, like, even if we like get caught in traffic and uh, like lose our tickets to the game or to the show, it's still gonna end up a good night, being a good night, cause I'm with my girls. And um, yeah, that, I wrote my lyrics based on that idea and then, that same idea got implemented into the music video that Overwatch animated for us. So it was really cool to watch that kind of come to life. That's really cool. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and they like animated our logo and our light stick as well. <laughs> so that was really crazy to see. It felt really cool. When you're crafting a song like that or having a hand in crafting it, when like how do you know it's done? Or do you really rely on the, the help of others or your producers to help guide mm -hmm. that? 저희는 뭔가 하나를 완성할 때마다 그 만족하는 게 만족하는 게 진짜 없어서 저희는 뭔가 더 해야 될것 같고 아직 덜된것 같고 이런 생각을 항상 가지고 있는데 그래서 저희에게 뭔가 완성이라는 거는 없는 것 같고 이제 회사에서 <웃음> 회사에서 <웃음> 잘 이렇게 얘기를 해주셔서 저희도 그걸 듣고 생각을 하는 것 같아요. <웃음> And that's a big call, right? You got to like put that yeah. power in somebody else's hands. Yeah. <laughs> but have you learned about yourselves from joining this group? And we're going around the room. So everybody has to answer. Ah. Oh, 저는 연습생 때까지 해도 어, 어차피 내일도 있으니까 이런 주의자였는데 그래서 되게 뭔가 어, 이 팀에 와서 제가 욕심이 진짜 많고 뭔가 하고 싶은 게 명확히 있는 사람이라는 거를 이 팀에 와서 처음 알게 된것 같아요. Do you realize that like you like everybody can do things that you can't and that's a ultimately like makes it great, right? Like that's a part of being a group. You never ride alone mm -hmm. in any of this. 어, 일단 저도 절대 완벽하지 않고 그래서 저 스스로도 되게 항상 만족하지 못하는데 그거를 저 혼자가 아니라 이 다섯 명이 있으니까 서로 서로 그 부분을 채워주면서 더 좋은 팀을 만들 수 있다는 게 너무 감사한 일인 것 같아요. Beautiful. What did you learn about yourself since joining? 아 uh, 저는 뭔가 데뷔 했을 때는 그냥 모든 게 처음이고 뭔가 다 뭐, 어떻게 해야 될지도 모르고 뭔가 다 뭔가 재밌게 그냥 열심히 했었던 것 같은데 이 그룹 활동을 하면서 어 뭔가 더 이걸 하면서 다음에는 어떤 모습을 보여주면 좋을까 아니면 팬들은 어떤 모습을 보고 싶고 보고 싶어 하는 건가 이런 뭔가 생각을 많이 하면서 활동을 한, 하게 됐던 것 같아서 그래서 뭔가 저도 지금 자기를 뭔가 알아가고 있는 중인 것 같아요. 그리고 활동하면서 뭔가 진짜 제가 꿈이라고 말하는 것도 꿈 같은 뭐라고 해야 돼? 음. 너무 큰 일들이 진짜 점점 이루어지니까 너무 너무 신기하고 근데도 뭔가 노력하면 뭔가 음, 음 그만큼 보람이 있고 뭔가 꿈이 현실로 이루어질 수도 있구나라는 걸 맨날 느끼고 있어서 그래서 앞으로 더 많은 뭔가 꿈을 이뤘으면 좋겠다는 생각이 났던 것 같아요. That's beautiful. <laughs> I also would like to mention that um, these two are also really good lyricists. Just wanted to mention. <laughs> are you guys writing with them in the, the studio? Do you come with ideas? How does that work for the two of you? 그냥 평소에서 그냥 차나 침대나 그런 편한 자리에서 가사를 써보려고 하는 것 같아요. You write a song every day? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> When we need. When we need. <laughs> yeah. Cool. How do you gather inspiration all the time? 영감을 어디서? How do you document it? 
그 회사에서 그 거기에 거글 거 작업을 어, 해줬으면 좋겠다고 할때 뭔가 테마 테마나 음. 뭐지 그 거기에 가졌으면 좋겠는 뭔가 의미나 그런 그런 존보들 많이 리스트로 만들어주니까 그거를 보면서 뭔가 거기서 펼치는 펼치는 단어들이나 그런 걸 생각하면서 하는 것 같아요. And that information is directed to the interviews you do with right, each other before. Right, right. So the first step is like talking with us uh. and um, talking about what kind of message you want to put forward in our next music or yeah, our forthcoming music. And then we figure out like how to mesh that all together into like a cohesive album. Cool. And then, yeah. And then, on from there. what did we learn about ourselves from joining this group? I was working for a long time, but I was so hard to love and love it. I was so hard to 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 love it. I was so h a 제일 강한 사람이다 라는 걸 느껴서 네 스스로를 사랑하게 됐던 것 같아요. Oh my god. <웃음> the way you define idol, like what it means to be an idol. 음... How has that changed from the beginning of your career to today? 처음에는 진짜 뭐라고 해야 되지? 제가 준신이었어요. 그냥 뭔가 더 내가 잘 됐으면 좋겠고 더 잘하고 싶고 이런 거였는데 요즘은 뭔가 팬분들이나 멤버들이나 그런 주변에 있는 사람들이한테 어떤 영향을 내가 줄수 있을까? 더 뭔가 힘을 줄수 있을까? 더 멤버들한테 도와줄 수 있는 게 뭘까? 라는 뭔가 자기가 중심, 중심보다는 주변에 있는 사람들이 더 중심으로 생각하게 됐던 것 같아요. That's special. <웃음> How do you change since first joining the group? 어, 저는 일단 이 팀을 하면서 이팀 준비를 하면서 저에 대해 되게 잘 알아갈 수 있었던 것 같은데 어, 그 이유 중 하나가 저희 제작 과정에서 아까 말했듯이 스토리텔링 인터뷰를 자주 하는데 그거를 통해서 제가 이렇게 이런 열정이 있었구나 내가 이런 생각을 하고 있었구나 라는 거를 새삼 다시 느끼게 되면서 어, 되게 놀랐고 어, 내가 이렇게 열정이 많은 사람이었구나 이거 주변에서 독하다 이런 소리까지 하는데 그거를 저는 이제 그냥 몰랐거든요 제가 그런 사람인 줄 그래서 그런 인터뷰를 통해서 저를 더잘 알아가게 된것 같고 어 그거로 인해서 뭔가 저희 팀은 저희의 스토리를 전달해주면서 많은 사람들의 공감을 이끌어내는 그런 팀인데 음 그럴 그렇기 위해서는 제 자신을 더잘 알아야 되겠다라는 생각이 들면서 그 뒤부터는 뭔가 제 자신에게 집중을 되게 많이 하게 된것 같아요. 제 내가 지금 왜이 기분을 느끼고 있고 내가 지금 하고 싶은 건 뭐고 우울할 때면 은또왜 내가 지금 우울한지 뭔가 저에 대해 되게 집중하는 시간을 많이 가졌었던 것 같아요. Having a deeper connection with yourself is awesome. And you? What'd you learn since uh, joining La Seraphim? Since joining La Seraphim, um, uh, wow, I think I've learned a lot, but same with my members. I think um, I've learned a lot about myself and um, just, I think I've become a lot more of an introspective person, like, um, You know, I, I think uh, in retrospect, I didn't have, uh, I guess, like the, the emotional capacity to um, really sit with my emotions and really think about what kind of person do I want to become? What kind of music do I want to be doing? What kind of message do I want to be giving out to the world? But I think that now being in this team, we've had so many amazing Um, opportunities to really communicate and um, think about uh, what we want and you know 
what we want to be saying. And i um, so thankful to our company who's always giving us so many opportunities to really um, be able to express that. And so I think like musically I've grown a lot and just as a person I've also grown a lot in terms of really finding what I want to do and what I want to become. You guys are giving special, the five of you, and the music's really good. Thank you so much. <laughs> By the way, you can listen to all Les Serafims. I'm saying it like it's French, but it's yeah, not French at all. It's actually... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. It's an anagram for yeah, I'm fearless. I'm fearless. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know oh, why I go. say it like I have never been to Paris before in my oh, life. Oh, you know what's actually really funny, though? At the end of each of our videos, we have like a little like two second clip of our like our logo and then me going Les Serafim. But that was originally like I originally recorded it in a French accent so it could have been like that uh, but but what's the right way to say it Le Seraphim Le Seraphim Le Seraphim yeah and I would say Le Seraphim Le Seraphim <laughs> but a lot of people have actually been <laughs> calling us that too hard. <laughs> maybe Zach's French are you French I wish oh okay <laughs> nah, not French. Uh, not French at not all. Not French, not French. Nah. Uh, I love that the fandom name is Fear Nots. Mm. It all yeah. is in line. Yeah, it's it all aligns because piona in Korean means to bloom. Mm. It means bloom, and um, yeah, fear not is like yeah, fear not. Like <laughs> don't be afraid. Yeah. If I'm not afraid, then I bloom. What's the deal on that? Fear not. 그냥 fear not 그대로 두렵지 않다. 리세라핌과 피어나와 함께하면 두렵지 않다라는 뜻도 있고 피어나로 이제 bloom이라는 뜻이 있잖아요. 그런 어 같이 피어나자 <laughs> 라는 <laughs> 뜻도 있는 것 같아요. 그런 mm, 두 가지 sentimental. 의미가 있는 것 같아요. Very sentimental. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, thank you. Y'all are special. Thank you. That's well, given superstar energy. Ah, uh, superstar energy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Liz Arafim's music is waiting for you. It's all on Amazon Music. Click the oh link gosh. in the description below. What are you thinking, Dan? Um, is being in a successful K-pop group what you guys expected? <gasps> All right, what's been the biggest surprise? Oh. Yeah. Y'all are great. Thank you. <laughs> Les Seraphim's music is waiting for you. Link in the description below. Anything else, Daniel? Nah. I mean, we've covered a lot here. Well, you guys are Louis Vuitton models. That's pretty cool. Oh, thank you, Louis Vuitton. That's <laughs> sick. Thank you. I yeah, love you. Beautiful. Also, The Flame Rises, your first solo tour. <gasps> yes, our tour. Top tour. Yeah, that was amazing. Scary or enlightening mm. or deeply fulfilling? What was mm. it? <웃음> 뭔가 저희가 안 가봤던 도시나 그런 곳에 가서 뭔가 언어가 안 통해도 이 음악으로 하나가 될수 있구나를 깨달아서 더 다양한 나라 도시에 가고 싶다 그런 느꼈던 것 같아요. 음. What part of making art are you connected to the most or fulfills you the most? For me personally, um, I am a very existential person, <laughs> so I'm always kind of fearing the end of something. And I think um, being able to kind of document or, you know, beautifully express or lay out my thoughts and me as a person in music or in fashion or in, you know, our dances. Um, it's all art, by the way. It's all art, yeah. Just art in general is very beautiful to me because I feel like, you know, there's nothing, there's no other end that I can control, but for this, at least, I can, you know, save myself or let myself live uh. um, in this piece of art eternally. Totally. Yeah, so... I think mm, that's for me, yeah, it's a little, it's a little like big picture. <laughs> I but like that. Yeah, it's no. Like, because the truth is, everything we do lives on forever, right? Yeah, and culture yeah. lives way past any person. Right. It's larger than any one person or group. Right. So yeah. So I guess for me, it's like a part of me lives somewhere. Very cool. Yeah. Very very cool. Thank you. You guys are interesting. Hungry <laughs> 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 group
the Seraphim's music waiting for you right now <laughs> all on Amazon Music thank you guys for being here thank you so much yeah. I appreciate you thank you the Seraphim everybody Woo! thank you so much for having us yeah.